welcome once again to It's Time to Play, and as always, we're going to be taking the classic game from your childhood. We're going to relive some of the nostalgia, talk a little bit of nonsense, but most importantly, we are going to have some fun. That's what it's all about. And today, the game we're playing is Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? Now, this came out for the Sega Genesis, it also came out on the Apple II, and many other platforms. And it's a very, very fun game, a slow paced game, but we're going to try and make things as interesting as possible here. Uh, so, let's get started. Learning English language here, that's the most important thing. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so basically you play a detective, and uh, every time... Okay, we've got to put our name in first. Uh, we'll just put coin, as in one coin. We're not going to waste too much time here. Coin will do. So, uh, we're playing a detective, and ultimately we have to chase down Carmen San Diego. But before we get there, we have to... Uh, Pretty much capture all her henchmen, so we're a male. There we go, I hope we're a male. We're new, we're just going to press start. This has got obviously a password save for when you've uh, solved crimes, you can come back later. Pretty surprising for a Genesis game actually not to have a battery backup, but anyway. So uh, anyway, our job is to uh, travel all over the world, uh, uncover the clues uh, in order to capture certain henchmen, criminals, things like that. Um, and each city we travel to will have a secret. And then we've got a choice of three different countries that we can travel to. Um, if we pick the right one, great. There'll be more clues. If not, then we have to backtrack. Um, what's real challenging about this game is uh, you have a time limit, maybe a week, eight days, something like that. Uh, so you ha it's imperative you get all the clues right every time they come at you, uh, whether it's a clue about what color the country's flag is, where the henchman is next, or uh, just things like that. You know, There'll be subtle little clues and you have to basically uh, cross the T's and dot your I's. Anyway, we're going to get into it now. Uh, so there's a national treasure stolen from Port Moresby, P&G. And it's the Boar's Tusk Necklace, alright. And mail was reported to see the crime. So there you go, we've already got the first clue. Uh, so all you could do is when you have clues, <clears throat> and we're currently a rookie rank. Uh, so when you've got the first clue, I think this is where you compute it. You hit the computer, and... Uh, no, that's it. Do we put it under warrant? Let's have a look. That's it, yeah. So, you can generate a warrant once you have enough clues. Now, if you don't have enough clues, it might generate a, a couple suspects, or even three suspects, but when you have enough clues, it'll narrow it down. So we've got a male. That's not enough to compute yet, but that's better than nothing. We've got our first clue. We know it's a dude. So we're going to ex exit the safe. So we're in PNG. Tells you there's always a little bit of information about the country and stuff. A nice little uh, screenshot to the left as well. So we're in Port Moresby, the capital, 9 a.m. And, uh, <clears throat> sorry, we'll get out of here. All right, so, um, search. So this little uh, logo here, the little purple search logo, means you can go to different parts of the town and uh, collect clues from the locals, basically. <clears throat> so we're going to go to the bank first. Let's have a look what's at the bank. Let's see what they say. All I know is that he changed his money to dollars. So, uh, keep in mind this game was made uh, in the 90s. So currency is a little bit different. Uh, but dollars usually means it's probably somewhere like Australia or the USA, Canada, New Zealand. So that's actually a pretty good clue. So he changed his money to dollars. We're we going to go to the harbour now. A suspicious person was here and boarded a cruise ship flying a red, white, and blue flag. A red, white, and blue. So, I mean, that could be the U.S. flag. It could be the French flag. Uh, it sounds more like the U.S. flag, to be honest, for obvious reasons. And he plays croquettes. There you go. We can compute another another clue. We can go the warrant here. And our hobby is... Did I say croquette? I meant croquet. Jeez. There we go. What's with, what's with my English today? So there you go, male, he likes croquet. So already we've had some really good clues. <clears throat> and we're going to search again. We haven't been to the foreign ministry yet. Let's see what's here. Sources tell me he sped away in a vehicle flying a red, white, and blue. So he has a vehicle, but we're not sure what vehicle it is. You can put a vehicle in as a clue, uh, but we don't know what that vehicle is. So we want to probably leave that one alone now. <clears throat> Still narrows things down a bit for us. Okay, so we've got a choice of traveling now. As I said, uh, you pick the right place, you'll get more clues. You pick the wrong place, you'll have to backtrack. It costs you precious time. Now, I can't remember what our time limit is, but we might have a look at that soon. I think it said so at the start of the mission. Uh, so New Delhi, New York, obviously. All the clues point to we have to go to the United States. So we're going to head to New York now. Um, 
And it'll have a little bit of history. Headquarters of the United Nations. And you've got the Statue of Liberty there. Of course you do. What other caption, what other uh, screenshot would they use? And uh, yeah, okay. We're going to check the sports club here. And uh, whenever you've uh, on the right track, a vile henchman, I think it's called, will come up on the screen just letting you know that you're on the right path. And uh, alright, cool. I heard he said he planned to parachute off an oil rig. So the clue that it's an oil rig uh, could maybe mean that uh, he's planning to go somewhere in the Middle East, obviously being big for oil, that could be a clue. Um, we'll see what else there is. Uh, did we look at the sports club already? Was that where we looked? We'll just double check here. Oh yeah, no. So we kind of just wasted time backtracking on that clue, my bad. Airport. I heard he took off in a plane with a red, white, and black. Red, white, and black. I'm just trying to think of what flag. It's not the Iraqi flag. I know, I know there's a, a Middle Eastern flag that's red, white, and black. I can't remember. We'll work that out. That's a good clue anyway. And uh, foreign ministry. He planned to sell secrets to the ruling council. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see what options we got. Uh, bank. Well, I didn't realize that was a color of the Iraqi flag. Maybe I'm getting confused. I thought it might have been a. But all, 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 all clues point to Baghdad, so that's where we're going. Especially the oil clue, obviously. Uh, so we're going to head there. We haven't computed anything else, of, unfortunately. Um, unless parachuting is one of the clues. Let's have a quick look. Let's see, can we put anything else in? Nah, not really. We don't have enough clues yet. Hopefully we'll get some here now that we're in the Middle East. And uh, you got a nice little uh, screenshot again on the on the left hand side here. All right, let's have a look around. Uh, if we're on the right track again, a vile henchman's going to come up here. <clears throat> there we go. We're on the right track. I saw the person you're looking for, and he changed his money to drug. I can't remember what currency that is actually. I feel really uneducated today, but hey, that's a clue all the same. So let's look somewhere else. The library. I saw the person you're looking for and he asked for a biography of Aristotle and he had red hair. So Aristotle, that's uh, Greek, isn't it? I think, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so red hair. Let's see if, let's see if we've got a, uh, a warrant for anyone yet. So croquet, red hair, male, let's compute this. Let's just have a look. You now have a warrant to arrest Scar Graynold. So there you go, uh, if we get to the correct country uh, in this next trip, uh, we'll probably capture this criminal. So there we go. Uh, no, we don't need to... Oh yeah, okay, so we're gonna show it, search the palace. That's the last place we haven't checked yet. And, uh... He left in a vehicle flying a blue and white flag. That is a really, really, uh, good clue. And that is the Greek flag, so now at least we know where to go. We're going to Athens, I'm guessing. Yep, just around the corner too, so that's not gonna take too much time. And, uh, okay, Greece, there you go. And I'm pretty sure we're going to catch this some bitch now. <laughs> well, let's have a look. Where we go? We'll go to the hotel. He's probably staying there somewhere. He wanted to collect vanilla beans, and he didn't like seafood. Well, that's nice. I don't really care about what food he likes, but anyway... We'll go with it. He checked out a vanilla bean cookbook. He had a large ring on. So he likes... Okay, well, vanilla beans. I don't know what country vanilla beans come from, actually. So that's not really helping me right now. But we should be able to catch him here anyway. Want to buy black market franks. Uh, okay. And he hated dangerous sports. So where are we going? Uh... I don't know where we're going now. This is, uh, well, it's not Bangkok because they use Bart. Maroney, uh, I thought Franks was a, was a European currency. I, d I don't think Maroney, it's really confusing for me. I mean, we can check out San Marino. In the end, it's only around the corner, so we're not going to lose too much time. So, uh, yeah, let's see what happens here.
Can we find anyone? We've got a warrant. Hopefully we get this dude in a sec. Museum. Okay, so we need to backtrack, unfortunately. This is a dangerous part of this game. And uh, you, you guys are probably, like, laughing at me from the other side of the computer for not understanding all these clues. Uh, but some of these currencies are, are a little bit different in uh, today's society. Obviously, this is a 30-year-old game. That's my excuse for everything. I always blame someone else. Okay, so we're going to go to Maroni. Forgive me for not knowing all these places, but it's definitely not Baghdad and Bangkok, I wouldn't imagine. Unless we have to go back. Oh, I don't know. Let's have a look. I know, I know there's, uh, anyway, let's have a look here. Let's have a look at the sports club. Oh, okay, so we're on the right track now. Must be some kind of European colony here then. The gang is in town somewhere. Okay, so we're going to go to the airport. Oh, don't run from me, we're going to catch ya. <laughs> There goes a suspect. No, come back! You can't run away from me. Calling in the troopers here. Oh, we got him. We got you! And there you go, we arrested our first suspect. In the jail. And thanks to your help, the Port Moresby police have apprehended Scar Greynold. And uh, there you go, Scar Greynold had the loot. A boar's tusk necklace, which will be returned to the grateful residents of Port Moresby. And we here at Interpol, thank you for your good work. You've earned a pro promotion. I'm now a sleuth. That's pretty cool. And uh, there you go. That's one case done. Now, uh, once you've seen one case, you've seen them all. They gradually get uh, harder and harder. Um, but we're going to leave it there today. Just wanted to complete one uh, case for all of you guys, just so you could see the game. I highly recommend you play this yourself if you're after casual uh, strategy games. This is really, really fun. And uh, one of the games I've played at school that I actually genuinely enjoyed. So if you've never played Where in the World Has Come in San Diego, definitely get on it, guys. And once again, thank you for joining us for OneCoin Only. If you like what we do, please share, subscribe, tell your friends about us, and we will see you next time.